Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It has been almost two and a half years since I last did an update to my Norfolk Island Pine Forest. In the last video, I repotted these trees and I found the roots were all tangled and not a flat radial root base that I wanted. So I did some severe root pruning and I said it was either do or die time for the trees. And out of the five trees, two of them did die, but three continued to live. In the last video, I also pruned the trees and I planted cuttings off the trees and one, two, three, four, five of the cuttings have survived also. Today I'll be pruning the top of these trees and I'll also be repotting it into a new pot. This one's all broken at the back. So that's coming up today in the bonsai zone. This is the pot that I chose to plant the forest in. It's slightly used, so I'll take it upstairs and give it a good clean and get it looking good. And then we'll come back and prune up the trees. I've had several people tell me that these trees don't root very easily, that you know you can have a cutting in the pot for a year and then you go to repot it and it has no new roots. It just survives as a cutting without a root system. So. It'll be really interesting to see how much of a root system has developed on these trees, the cuttings and the main trees. I know the main trees aren't that stable in the pot, like this one moves around quite a bit and I have that rock to hold it up. So I don't expect a great big root system has developed in the pot. So we'll see when we uh, go to repot them. I'll start by removing the two dead trees. There's one at the back here. So it looks like I cut the roots pretty well right off and maybe another root grew out the top. I'm not sure. I'd have to check the old video. So definitely nothing new on that one. It just died. The other one that's dead is right out front here. Let's have a look at that. Now that, that looks like it did develop a bit of a root system, but Again, maybe that was there before. I'd have to check the old video. But anyway, the tree didn't live, so. All the rest of the trees in the pot are alive. There was some dieback, I guess, as it was recovering and regrowing new roots and gaining energy. Some of the branches died off a bit, but uh, it's growing strongly now, all the trees. So let's go in and give them a prune. I'll start by pruning the cuttings, and I'll be trying to get that triangular silhouette to the trees. So the bottom branches I'll leave longer and the upper branches I'll prune back more. So here I go. I'm going to start at the very top and I'm going to take this first branch or top branch off quite short to here like that. The second branch. My first division is out here which is too long so I'll just take it back to here like that. And this one back to here. Like that. This front one to there. So inside one I'll prune to here. And this one to here. And here. And I don't think I'll touch these bottom branches. They look pretty good. They're not a bad length. It kind of creates that triangular shape. So that, that tree's all pruned up. The next one I'll do is this back tree here. So I'll flip it around so you can see it. You can see the back of the planting now. And you can see that big chunk that's missing out of the pot here. So that's one of the reasons I want to get it repotted. So here's another cutting and again, up top here, I'll prune it quite short. I've had good success pruning these Norfolk Island Pines as a bonsai. They seem to react quite well. With no problems in pruning. You know, they regrow at the tips. Root pruning is a different matter. I've had some trouble with the roots. It looks like 
Looks like there's a twin trunk off of this one. It's a really low branch that comes up the side. So we'll keep that as a feature. I'll just prune the apex, apex back short on that secondary trunk. We'll prune the two trees together, creating a nice triangular silhouette, which is how they normally grow in nature, these Norfolk Island pines. They call them the triangle tree because they grow in a triangle. And just some of these lower branches, I'll prune them a little shorter. They're kind of weak, so I'm not going to take a lot off them. This, maybe this one back here. And I think that's it. I think that's got that tree pruned up really nicely. Okay, so the next one, I'll work on this. There's two cuttings here. There's one here and a short one here. So again, I'll just start at the top and prune them to the triangular form. So up top here, I'll prune it quite short. And here, quite short. Here, getting a little longer, a little longer. Here. fairly easy trees to prune. I mean, the natural form is a triangular shape and it's almost like a profile pruning. Just prune them to a triangle and that's it. So those two cuttings are pruned up now. I've got one last cutting to prune up over here. So again, I'll prune it quite short at the top. And I think that's about it. So now I only have the main trees left to prune, so I'll tackle those next. I'll also prune the main trees to a triangular silhouette, so I'll have to take quite a bit off these really tall upper branches here. Working my way down the tree, and the branches get a little longer each time to create that triangular silhouette. Good compact growth up here. I can tell this tree isn't really, really vigorous. It's doing okay, but I'll get these back branches here. So not much of a triangle there. I could prune this back even further, I think. A long branch here. I think that's about as much as I dare take off at one time. So I'll leave that tree like that and I'll start on this one. The next tree has a lot of dead branches here and I think I'll start by cleaning those out. Just clipping them off. That way I'll be able to go in and see what's going on with the tree. I'm glad that at least three of the five main trees survived. Gives me a good number for forest planting. And having all these extra cuttings is just really good to know that you can grow cuttings easily from a Norfolk Island pine. I just didn't know that. Okay, so the dead wood is out. And now I'll go in and prune that triangular silhouette. Starting at the top here. Pruning very short. And getting longer as I go down the tree. Now... That off there. That's starting to look more of a triangular shape. Okay, I think that's got that tree pruned up. Just a little bit more off this one. And one more tree to do, this one back in here. Now this one has kind of a cluttered apex and there's some more branches growing out down here, so a little bit different of a tree. Um, I'm going to keep these branches that are facing outwards and I'm going to prune off the leader on this lower section here. And the branch that's growing towards the inside, I'll get rid of that. Leaving the branches that are fanning out from the tree. 
So I'll do the same here. I'll remove the apex. And all those branches are fanning out, so they're they're fine. And then here I've got sort of a series of apexes. Um, I want to just keep one apex. I don't mind if it kind of has movement to it, but uh, I'll probably pick this one because it's the most vertical branch. I do want it to look fairly formal, so I'll take this one off here, this one off here, and I'll shorten these upper branches. Like that. And that kind of gives me a triangle silhouette. Let's take a bit off this branch and this one also. As a dead back branch here, I can remove like that. Yeah, so that's about as much as I can do that tree at the present time. So you can see this one, it's also not very stable in the pot. So I doubt it has a very big root system. I've got the trees all pruned up. So now it's time to start repotting. So I'll get the trees out of the soil and I'll probably put them in a glass of water until I get the new pot all prepared for planting them. I'm going to remove the trees from the pot now. So I'll just come in carefully, rake away the soil, and hopefully these cuttings have roots. I guess we'll find out very soon. I'm just kind of pulling up gently on the tree while I'm combing away at the roots here. It does have roots. It looks like it has a fairly good root system too. It's not coming out very easily. I think the roots are quite long. I'm just kind of pulling up on the tree now. Yeah, I'm thinking these you can see roots wrapped around the edge of the pot here. So something has grown roots. Wow, look at that. There's the tree at the back has grown roots all the way around. This one's grown roots. Good Lord. I didn't expect this much root. I can tell you that. I'm uh, Yeah, so there's the main tree. It has one big root out the side, not much else around the other side. So I'll put that in the water. Here's some more of my cuttings back here. Wow, they rooted too. Let's get out some of the more of these larger trees here. They're all wrapped up in this drainage mesh. Yeah. So that one again has another new root system, quite one-sided, but it's flat. Not very radial yet, but uh, hopefully it'll get there. Let's get this one out now. So that one has a fairly long root. It's, uh, yeah, done well. It, it only grew the one root off the tree. All these other places where I cut the roots, eh, there's just nothing there. So a little disappointing, but you know, the tree's alive. Okay, so these ones are quite the tangled root system. I gotta get all these trees separated. I'm quite surprised at how much root the cuttings have. I didn't expect that. From everything I've heard and read, they do not root very well. And here, my cuttings rooted very well. I can't complain. For two and a half years, they've got quite a bit of root. Wow, what a mess. Tangled mess of roots. They're all through these drainage meshes too. There's another couple of little trees separated, little cuttings. They just have one single root coming off of each of them. So at least that's a start anyway. 
I guess if I just grow them in these shallow pots, I'll just have to accept a shallow, messy root system. I don't think I'll get a good, perfect radial root base on these trees, but maybe with time it will. You never know. It might be their natural tendency to grow a nice radial root system with time. But look at this one. That, that is... That is two and a half years of growth, and that's a tremendous amount of root coming off this little cutting. I can't believe that. That's amazing. Just amazing. Okay, well, that'll definitely need a bit of root pruning. Okay, I'll uh, get all these trees soaking in water somehow, get them in here and then I'll clean up this mess and we'll start repotting them. I'm going to cut out my drainage screen for the bottom of the pot. I'll just cut one big screen, so one big oval shaped screen. Just trimming it with the scissors to the shape of the bottom of the pot. There we go. So there's my screen and it just fits in nicely in the bottom. And now I can put a layer of soil in the bottom of the pot. So here I go with my base layer of soil. And this will be where I plant the trees on top. So I'll want to get it, you know, about maybe two thirds of the way up the sides of the pot. This soil is kind of damp, so it's a little darker than normal, but it's just perlite and turfus. There might be a little bit of um, might be a little bit of pumice in here. Not too much though. Okay, I think I have a good base layer. I can plant the trees on top of there and then kind of fill it in with soil. My general theory for this forest is to have an asymmetrical triangle shape. The tallest trees on this side, so it'll form an asymmetrical triangle. And I'll have my larger trees up front in the forest and the smaller ones at the back to create forest perspective. Oh, well, what I typically do. So I think this is the tallest tree right here. And I think I'm just going to keep the roots that it has, arrange them in the pot. I want to keep this tree strong. And hopefully as it gets older, it'll create more roots and kind of develop a radial root system. At least the roots will stay shallow in this pot. So that's one good thing. So I can see this one being kind of here. It's uh, towards the front. I think that's a good front for the tree also. It looks quite nice from that view. I'll fill in a little soil around it just to hold it in place. that'll stay. I might put my little rock there just to hold it hold it in place. And then my next tree, I've got my three larger trees that survived the repotting last time here. So this is the next tallest. It could go slightly behind the main tree and maybe my other one on the other side here. That's not a bad front for it. Somewhere around there, maybe. I'll have to come out front and see what that looks like. I'm looking at the trees from the front here. So it's not too bad an arrangement. Um, It's hard to imagine because I will have other trees that are kind of filling in behind it here. So right now there's kind of a gap between these two trees, which I'm wondering, should I close it up? I probably should. And then have the other trees kind of behind them. And maybe even bring them forward too in the pot. They look kind of maybe a little too far back. So I'll try making those changes. Okay, that looks... 
a little better maybe. Um, I do like the front tree forward more. Um, hmm. I'll play around with it some more. I'm going to add a little more soil in the pot so the trees are a little more stable and I can play around with them a little more. I think I'll prune up the roots of the cuttings. Then I can place them in the in the pot and kind of... So I'm not taking a whole lot off them, but just enough that I can kind of get them in the pot and position them. Get rid of some of the really wild long roots. Like there. And this one, holy. Look at the roots on this one. So I'm gonna take it right back. I don't wanna to take too, too much off because I don't want them to die or anything. And there's a couple of small ones here that have rooted. They'd be okay too. So I'll position this tree next. And I think it needs to go towards the back here, kind of in between these two trees here is what I'm thinking. I'll try it anyway. It's quite a nice full tree and it's the branches are low to the ground so it makes a good green backdrop to the main trees and it'll give good force perspective too. It'll look like a miniaturized version of the trees that are in front of it. So somewhere about there looks good. My next tallest trees, I'm just kind of separating them by height here. Do I have all of them? Yeah. The next tallest one is this one. So it could go right back here, I think. I'm kind of looking in my monitor there, the little flippy screen on the side of the camera to see how it looks. It's looking okay so far. Then I have a few smaller ones. So I would like one of the smaller ones over on this side. So maybe right back here. That'll continue that triangular silhouette like that. I'll straighten it up. And then I've got three more. So I'll want one in behind here, sort of a smaller tree like that, and then the two little ones. I'll just prune that root a little bit here. The two little ones will be sort of to the edge here, I think. And again, I'll come out front and have a look at this before I finally decide. Okay, I'll come have a look at the arrangement now. I'm looking at the forest from the front now, and it's actually looking pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm liking the arrangement. I have no, nothing stands out to me as being wildly out of place. So that's a good thing. You can always use a little refinement. I can see the trees on this side could be improved just a little bit. The tree on this side, the edge tree could be moved out towards the lip of the pot just a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. Um, it's just the, the spacing is kind of equal between these three trees. So maybe I've got to move it in a little bit. I think that would do it. Better to have the trees a little tighter together than spaced too far apart. Okay, so I'm going to start filling the trees in with soil and I'll make all the small adjustments to their positions and we'll see how it looks. I wanted to adjust this tree just slightly. I'm going to move it back a little bit and in a little bit. So maybe to there. I'll just put a little soil around that to hold it in place. Trying not to make too much of a mess here, which may be impossible for me. Okay. And this one is in a good position. It's kind of between these two trees, so I, I like that. I just need to keep it nice and straight. That looks good. This one is not bad right there. I'll uh, 
put some soil around it to hold it in place. Like that. And then this one, it's spaced a little too far away, I think. I've got to move it in, make this grouping a little tighter. So I'll move it in a bit here. And that'll give me more room for these little trees over here. And I've got to remember to get my rock out of there too. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to prune this one branch back. It's a little long here. This one too. So there's just these two little trees on the end. Um, I think I've got to move this one back a little further here to here. And then this one over more like that. And I'll just fill in the soil around here to hold all the trees in place. I will have to come in with a spoon and just add the final touches to the soil. Just kind of leveling it out, fixing it up around the trees. I'll come out front and have a look at it. I'm out front having a look at the forest now. Just straighten up that main tree just a little bit. There's one at the back that needs a little straightening. Like that. The one tree over here, here on the edge is pretty close to that other tree. I'm going to move it out just a little bit. Ah, that's a little better. You can see that tree a little more to the left there. Okay, I think that's all looking pretty good. I like the arrangement. It's looking quite forest-like. Yeah. So the next thing, I've got to give it a water now. I'll start with a mister and just give it a really light misting. And then I'll come in with the watering can. Give it a good thorough soaking. This is just rainwater. The nice thing about these Norfolk Island pine forests is that they give you the look of a spruce forest or a pine forest and they're a tropical tree. So yeah, they're very similar to a spruce in appearance. And the full size tree is very similar to a spruce tree in appearance also. Okay, I think that's good. It's coming out the drainage holes. I saved all my cuttings here just in case I needed, you know, more trees in the forest. But I don't think I do. I think it's filled out nicely. I, uh, yeah, I don't think I need any of these cuttings. So if I were to plant the cuttings, I would just snip off the lower branches like this. and just plant it in the soil. The pruning of my Norfolk Island Pines and the repotting is all done for today. Let's go in and have a close up look. It's time now for today's update. Today's update is my lemon tree bonsai. This was one of the three donated lemon trees. And it's just coming out now with all kinds of new growth all over the tree. So let's have a look at it. The tree has been dormant pretty well all winter. And now, if you look up top, 
there's all kinds of new growth just coming out all over the tree. So that's looking good. The root base on it is looking quite good. Starting to get those nice flared surface roots. It will need repotting again. I can see that the soil is mounding up, so it's filling the pot with the roots and it's starting to lift itself out of the pot. So that'll be coming up. The wounds where I pruned off some of the major branches from before are starting to heal over really nicely and disappear. So that's good. It's starting to look more of a tree. Um, got a long way to go though, but it's a good start. It's time now for viewers picks. Mark from the Netherlands has sent in pictures of his Japanese holly. Rajmi from Bangalore has sent in pictures of his cypress, his ficus, and his portulacaria afra. Thanks everyone who sent in pictures. After two and a half years, I've finally given you an update on the Norfolk Island Pines, and I was quite happy with the results. The roots weren't as good on those ones I severely cut back as I was hoping, but they lived and I learned something. I learned that you can grow cuttings. I learned how much you can root prune them without dying. And I learned that the cuttings can grow roots like crazy in two and a half years. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. Mm -hmm.